So the first, the chase is then, and this is a three mile five furlong chase. And the top one is Item for Darren Howells, Millwer for Darren Thompson, Hillicarnassus Party for Hems, Cartan Tantalus for Hems, Think It's All Over Joshua Sutherland, G.I. Joe for Leon Van Rensburg, Pline Lukey and Sider Gruzzi for Martin Liddham, Duke of Cambridge and Duke of Westminster for Paul Rhodes, Evergreen Forest for Pontypool Racing, Southern Spectrum for Alex Cherry, River Tyne for Davy Ladd, Sweet Folly for Joshua Sutherland, Firefox for Leon Van Rensburg and Prayer for Pontypool Racing. They're away and racing. And getting their way down towards the first of the fences. I don't know whether we're over the Grand National style fences here at Oi Toy or whether we're over the ordinary ones. They passed the winning post and we see them from the top of the stand. They have to come round a couple of times, I think. Maybe be three as they make their way down towards the obstacles. And it does look like they're the Grand National type fences. And Cartan Tantalus is the early leader from Millwer. And then Duke of Cambridge and Evergreen Forest think it's all over. Pretty tightly packed at the moment as they continue on this long run towards the first. Note they're normal looking fences, and over it they go. And they're all safely over that one, so we won't get any visible fence then this time. And Cartan Tantalus is the leader from Millwer in second. As they come to the second of the fences, and over that one they go, and they're all safely over the other side. And two hurdle races so far, and not a single four or all pull up. Two miles, two and a half miles, and so I'm surprised we didn't see a pull up. We we haven't seen a faller yet. I'm sure we'll see a few in this. And Cartan Tantalus is the clear leader by a good three lengths to Millwer in second. Then comes Think It's All Over in third. And Prayer is after that one. Then Sweet Folly as they come to the next. That one looks a little bit smaller than the others have been. And they're all over that one okay with Plyne and Lukey towards the back. Pretty much the back marker. Cartan Tantalus will lead over fence four. And over that one they go, and we didn't lose anybody there, but one or two didn't jump in all that brilliantly. And they're already up towards the stands again, so I think we're going to have to go around ooh, know, maybe even four times around. How far have we been so far? Still, we've still got the best part of three miles to go, so I think we've got another three circuits to go yet as they come to this next one, and this is the water. They all go, they all gave that one plenty of it. And Cartan Tantalus continues to show the way to Millwer in second. A gap of a good five or so lengths then to think it's all over in third and prayer in fourth. And then Halicarnassus Paddy as they take number six. All over that one nicely, although the back marker Evergreen Forest didn't jump it all that well. Now let's take a check where they all are then as they race away from us and swing left handed down towards the next fence. It's a pretty tight course, this one, of course, and Cartan Tantalus will lead over it. So Cartan Tantalus in the lead then. And we've lost sight on there for a second, and we'll all see them all over it. Okay, Cartan Tantalus by a couple of lengths to Millwer in second. Then there's a gap back to Think It's All Over, and then Halicarnassus Party, and then Prayer, then Sweet Follies after that one, and then G.I. Joe and River Tyne and Plyne Luke. He's getting a little bit closer as they skip over the next one. And over that one, there was a mistake. There was a faller. We've got a faller now. Duke of Westminster's gone. So Paul Rhodes' look on the jumps is not getting any better as they take this bizarre jump, which is a... Not like they jump into the car park, doesn't it? But it's Cartan Tantalus who's in the lead. Millwer is in second. And then think it's all over in a Halicarnassus party as they take that one. That's a pretty big lucky one. And there's a faller there. Something's gone there. Item's gone. Wedged itself into the fence. And items out of it for Darren Howes as they come to another set of railings and jump out of the car park and back onto the race course. Uh, pretty nasty looking jump that one. Just a lot wrapping their legs against that very much. But it's Cartan Tantalus that's in the lead then from Millwer in second. Then a gap back to think it's all over and Halicarnassus Party. Prayer is also with them as they take the next. And uh, we see them streaming over that one. Bit of a shaky jump towards the back there for Sida Gruji and also Southern Spectrum. But it's Cartan Tantalus who's got the lead for Millwer in second. Then a gap back to Think It's All Over and Halicarnassus Party. And then Prayer, G.I. Joe, Sweet Folly and River Time, Firefox and Pline, Lukey Duke of Cambridge and Evergreen Forest. And then Sida Gruji on the outside. Southern Spectrum is just out of shot the back marker then as they take the next of them a stake there while the horse in second Millwer but everybody got over it okay and Cartan Tantalus is in the lead from Millwer in second as they come down to the next over that one they go 
you see them all over that one right towards the back there. Sider Grugy is now the back marker. And it's Cartan Tantalus in the lead for Millwer. Those two have been first and second pretty much all the way so far. And I think it's all over is in third. Then Halicanatus Party is next. Then Prayer. Then G.I. Joe. River Tide and Firefox. Sweet Folly and Blind Luke as they take the water. And they'll skip over that one. We often see anything happening at the water do, but we see the first pull up, and that's Sire de Grugy. Oh, sadly, not anywhere near as good as the real Sire de Grugy or the legend Sire de Grugy. So they take number 16, and over that one they go. And oh, a bit of a leap at that one for Southern Spectrum. Thought he was going to be the next one to depart the race, but got away with it. And it's Cartan Tantalus and Millwer who've been. 1-2 all the way so far. I think it's all over and Harley Canatus party have been 3-4 most of the way as well. Then Prayer and River Tyne as they take the next one. And we see them all over that one and everybody over it safely again with Cartan Tantalus continuing to lead and inside the final mile now then. And Cartan Tantalus by a couple of lengths comes to the 18th of the 24 fences. Gets over a nice mistake there by the Joshua Sutherland horse. Think it's all over. It very nearly was all over for him but he got away with it. Cartan Tantalus in the lead. Millworth second, then think it's all over again. This equilibrium. Prayer is in fourth, and Graham Clutterbuck will be praying. He's got a good one there as that one starts to move into third. Bit of a gap back then to Halicanatis Party and River Tyne and G.I. Joe and Firefox, and then Sweet Folly and Plyne Lukey. Difficult to see anything else getting into it as they take the 20th, and over that one they go. And Southern Spectrum is right out the back. It's Cartan Southern Spectrum has been pulled up as they come down towards the 21st. And oh, was a fall of there. Millwer has been up in the van all the way. It's crashed out of the race. That one's gone now. So it's Cartan Tantalus in the lead. Think it's all over though. Comes to challenge. River Tyne is also coming through nicely on the outside. G.I. Joe prayers after that one. Then Firefox. Here come the Van Rensburg horses as they take the third from home. And over that one they go. And G.I. Joe has suddenly hit the lead. It's G.I. Joe in front from think it's all over in second Cartan Tantalus is still there in third then River Tyne and Firefox then Prayer Halicanatus parties after that one but it's G.I. Joe in the lead think it's all over is second then comes Firefox it's Leon Van Rensburg one and two now then as Firefox goes into second but it's G.I. Joe in the lead from Firefox over the second last they go Firefox lands in the lead G.I. Joe lands in the lead Firefox is second then Cartan Tantalus then think it's all over Prayer's trying to run on so sweet folly as they come to the final fence then and over that one G.I. Joe lands in the lead Cartan Tantalus is trying to fight back but has got five lengths to find and surely can't do it it's G.I. Joe who is going to race up towards the line and Leon Van Rensburg is going to win again I think as they come up towards the line it's G.I. Joe that takes it Cartan Tantalus has won a pretty big race to finish second up towards the line there it is G.I. Joe wins it Cartan Tantalus second Halicanatus party was third Plan Lukey ran a while to be fourth and Duke of Cambridge is last so it's really beginning to look interesting this Leon Van Rensburg keeps winning and Paul Rhodes is going to have to do something about his jumpers because his flat horses are good but his jumpers are nowhere and G.I. Joe takes it um, let's take a look at the full list of the connections then G.I. Joe for Leon Van Rensburg is the winner Hems is doing well as well second and third for him with Cartan Tantalus and Halicanasus Party Plyn Lukey was fourth for Martin Lindemann Leon Van Rensburg was fifth with Firefox